Hello everyone, uh, what we've got in front of me here is the Dell Latitude 10 um, tablet, Windows 8 tablet, and it's running Windows 8 Pro rather than Windows 8 RT, so the fully um, fledged version, the more powerful version of Windows 8. So what I've got in front of me first of all is just the standard power connector, power brick isn't too big which is quite nice. It's a light on power brick but it says, and the power connector is eerily similar to the old Apple connectors. But anyway, we'll put that to one side. <clears throat> so this is the uh, the box it comes in, the pretty standard cardboard box from Dell. So let's uh, open it up and take it out, take out the machine. So that's the tablet. We'll put to one side first of all. We get the usual assortment of safety and regulatory information leaflets. A CD, a resource media CD of device drivers, utilities, uh, computer supported, it says Dell Latitude 10 ST2, Windows 8 already installed on your computer, so we can put that to one side. And this has come with a, uh, a bigger battery, this particular model that we're testing here, um, than the standard, but it's the Dell 60, uh, 60 uh, standard rechargeable light polymer battery. Okay, so okay, we'll put that to one side for now. The actual tablet comes in a nice cloth, can, uh, cloth bag, which we can just simply open up, and there is the tablet itself. You can make it out in the light. It's got quite a large bezel edge along the side, but I guess that makes it easier to hold with your fingers. You've got the cameras on the top and the Windows home button on the bottom. Uh, on the sides, right hand side, you've got the mini HDMI, a USB, and a headphone jack, which you can just make out here. On the other side, you've got a Kensington lock and a volume up and down. On the bottom, we have the power connector and also a mini USB connector as well. Uh, which is also used for a dock and along the top we've got uh, an SD card slot here which I'll try and show in the light uh, let's have a look there you go, SD card slot here power button, power light uh, lock for which rotation mode you're using two, button, two holes obviously for microphones I'm guessing and on the back so we've got Dell, Windows 8 Pro logo Intel Atom logo and obviously the the open shell at the moment for the battery to go into and the release mechanism for the battery itself so let's pop the battery in okay, okay that slots in quite nicely quite easily and if we press the power button here on the top get the light show up and get the Dell logo as the computer starts to boot up so like I said this is running Windows 8 Windows 8 Pro the usual set of procedure anybody who's installed Windows 8 uh, you'll be used to it you'll know what it looks like so uh, we'll have to just follow that procedure for a little bit of time Let me try and get this a bit zoomed in a bit better there we go This comes with an Intel Atom processor, it's the Z2760, 1.8 GHz, and Intel 8 Pro 32-bit. It's got a 10.1 IPS, 1366x768 wide view angle LCD with Corning Gorilla Glass. Uh, it's a capacitive 10 finger touchscreen. 2 gig of DDR RAM, uh, 64 gig solid state drive, and the uh, graphics is an Intel Graphics Media Accelerator at uh, 533 MHz. So there we go, the first thing you see, as you saw, quite a uh, fast boot up process, thankfully. Okay, sorry about that, I had a bit of a camera malfunction on my phone, uh, but anyway, so yes, Windows 8 has booted up. It was quite quick to boot up for the first time. Uh, you get the usual Windows 8 uh, instructions of what to uh, to do. I've set the keyboard to US by mistake, but never mind. Which is probably a bit of a flaw, you can't seemingly go back once you've made the problem. I don't want to make my computer easy to use, go away. Uh, you can't go back to reset those settings, which is a bit of a flaw, but anyway, that's more Windows 8 running the actual tablet itself. So, you can you can see me moving the uh, 
the indicator quite easily along on the screen without any issues. Uh, it wants to give it a computer name, so I'm just going to call it tablet for now. And click next. Wi-Fi. Let's try and join a Wi-Fi. Uh, okay, so one second whilst I put the details in on this. Okay. Make it a little bit easier to use when I'm actually demonstrating the video. Hopefully I've got that right. Let's see what it does. Okay, yes, that's worked. Okay, uh, do I want to use Express? Yeah, I can use Express. I don't want to sign in with a Microsoft account for now. We can use a local account. And give it a username of user and finish. The screen itself quite responsive, no particular issues in that uh, in that respect. To put things into perspective as well, um, I've just got an iPad here which we can see, and I don't know how easy that is to show you, but uh, a bit of glare off the iPad screen compared to the uh, the other one, but. Let me just unlock the screen on the iPad once that's still booting. So, there you go. It's not too bad actually, the screen. When you try and line them up, uh, they're... The, the, the screen, the depth, the, the height of the screen, I should say, isn't too much uh, off the iPad itself. But obviously you get... 16 by 9 ratio, so it's uh, it's a bit wider. Although even that, it's not too much wider. So yeah, I guess it's uh, it's quite similar to the iPad. So we're just going to wait for Windows 8 to uh, to boot up on this for the first time. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Here we go. Like that, or it's shutting itself down. Now it's rebooting. Try and get my camera to focus as best as possible. Weight-wise, it's uh, a little bit heavier than normal um, because of the the battery. You can see with the battery in, it steps out a little bit more uh, than the than the usual tablet. Even without the battery, it's it's a bit heavier than your, your iPad, maybe your Nexus uh, 10, but I guess you you know what you kind of expect with these tablets by now. Uh, and now it's gone into uh, portrait mode, which you can see what it looks like in portrait mode. And I don't want any of this. After your PC is ready, malarkey. Come on. Windows still, still does take a little bit of time to install for some reason. And to be fair, it is only running a, a an Atom processor, so... And it likes to give you these demonstration videos to give you some idea as to what to expect when you're actually using the device. Notice how uh, when I try and move the device back into landscape mode it doesn't change at this point. That's more an OS issue than the device itself again. I think the OS, whilst it's functional, I think there's quite a lot of updates it could do with. That's just a personal opinion. So you can see it's giving you the notice, say, swipe your finger in from the side to be able to see the charms. You know, move your mouse into any corner, which obviously I ain't going to be using the mouse on this anytime soon. I guess if I plugged it into a, a docking station, you probably would be, maybe. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Right, okay, so let's start. Okay, so now it's gone back into landscape mode. And you can see as I move across the screen everything seems to work okay so we can click on the store uh, won't be able to connect to the store this might have happened because of a server problem on the network okay let's try I want a desktop so it does say I've got Wi-Fi connectivity which is interesting I try and open Internet Explorer oh okay my broadband link from is currently down so I'll have to check that and see 
So I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, but the broadband is not working. So I'm going to pause the video at this point, uh, take sort that out, and come back with that fixed, so we can have a quick look at that when it's up and running. Okay, and I'm back again. Uh, so we've connected up to Wi-Fi now with the device. As you can see, the tiles are starting to pull in some information as it goes along. Uh, what's trending at the moment, uh, what the weather is like, all that kind of other stuff. So we can see the uh, the store, for instance. The new Windows Store is updated, it's now working. You can easily move across and find what I need. Say I want to uh, check out something that's free. Jetpack Joyride is free at the moment, so we can go onto that and easily say I want to install the app and I need a Microsoft account but I, I'm not going to use that at the moment but that's how easy it is to close the app you can uh, just run your finger down from top to bottom um, similarly you can press the home, the, the home button as well so if I go into the desktop and I want to go back out press the home button and it will take me back to the uh, the new Metro UI or whatever they want to call it these days uh, the Windows uh, Age interface is quirky in some ways. I mean, you can slide in from the right. You can get access to the charms bar, which is what they call here on the right. So things like settings, access to control panel, power buttons, how to shut down the device, some screen options, uh, other stuff like that. Um, desktop is what you're familiar with, probably, um, with your old Windows 7 kind of look. Access to all of your local shares, um, your local hard drives, anything you've got connected onto your your device quite quirky it does take a little bit of getting used to as you can see you know the odd little slip of the finger and you can end up like minimizing the window or shutting it down by mistake um, but you know you you get used to it I guess uh, over time so you can see the the file structure of the actual platform is quite similar to what you'd be used to in a Windows um, a Windows OS you can see the Windows directory the users directory all the rest uh, let's see so again if I want to shut that down I just shut from the side no problem uh, there's not a lot really else to to really show you, I guess, about the device. It's uh, like I say, it's a, it's a nice Windows tablet. The screen is very very clear. Uh, I think these tablets, what the second generation will better will will benefit from higher resolution screens. You know, 1366 by 768 is is pretty low in today's standards compared to other devices, um, especially in the era of Retina displays. But you know, it's quite clear. The contrast is very good. All the colors are vivid and stand out. And um, you know the, the the fundamental thing really is getting your head around Windows 8 and the uh, the usage of Windows 8, all the different uh, kind of flicks and tricks that it's got as you uh, as you kind of move your hands around the interface. But that's the um, the Dell Latitude uh, 10 tablet. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please rate and subscribe. Thank you.